Hello, it's Richard and Paul. So the angle's a bit different. It's a bit zoomed out this time. You can see part of our legs, look. Legs, we have legs. <laughs> and uh, I'm completely- feet as well. Feet as well. Yeah. And I'm completely frozen. That's why I'm wearing why. two jumpers and a huge scarf. I'm not. Because it's absolutely swear word freezing. <laughs> yes, it is. It's completely and utterly king freezing. Okay? It was cold yesterday in Granley. Oh. So if you haven't watched the video that we took yesterday of the new shop that our friend Vanessa Ford Robbins is opening in the next month or so. Watch it. Watch it. Just watch <laughs> it, innit? Okay. So, Paul, you've got a knife in your hand. Are you about to stab me? <laughs> and perhaps cook my innards for dinner? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't cook them. No, I'd just no. put them on the compost heap. Why well, so, have you got a knife in your hand, Paul? Please tell the viewers before they suspect you're about to become a serial killer. An, an old client of mine, I mean somebody that hasn't been a client for quite a many, quite a number of years. Got that Rather one. than them being ancient. Rather than very being old. ancient. They're not ancient and old. They, they haven't been a client for about seven years. And they watch the, our YouTube channel. Oh. And uh, just before Christmas, Hello. Um, Tony said that he would like to give us uh, £75 as a Christmas present, which was lovely and uh, rather floored me because he never gave me anything <laughs> whilst we were working together. He used to give you bottles of things, didn't he? No, he didn't. No, he Who didn't. used to Not give you one. bottles? Oh, yeah, other clients did, but oh. he never got, I'd never got a Christmas card from Tony. Not sure I ever sent him one, but there we are. Anyway, um, he gave seventy-five pounds. Well, so thank and you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. I said thank you, Tony. Well, thank you again, Tony. <laughs> thank you. Do so that sign language. Time. And um, he suggested. Um, in fact, no, he didn't suggest. He said that he had seen that Suttons were doing mystery parcels, and um, we could use the money to buy some mystery parcels. And we did that, and they have arrived. And how long have they been here, yes, Richard? Yes, Paul, and they've been sitting in the hallway <laughs> or the front room for about a week. <laughs> and I've been saying, Paul, when are you going to open those boxes? And Paul's saying... There's one more to come. I want I to said. make a video on it. No, I wasn't saying that. I said, we're going to do a video, and there's one more box to come. We just haven't had time anyway, to do a video. Anyway, the box arrived. The box has arrived. So we've now got three huge boxes and we're going to open them for you for you so these are from sutton's as i said um and we don't know what's in them we don't, they're no mystery idea. boxes and if we don't want these things you're going to end up getting them uh, or the community gardens or or, or well, other be good as, i think they're so good as giveaways these are this box is supposed to have a value of 75 pounds Oh. And it cost twenty pounds. Oh, I see. <coughs> so there we are. That's why the mystery. Careful is. with the knife. Don't stab yourself. I don't want to go to A and E. Well, if we were doing it in the other room, there'd be more room. But it's more yeah. comfortable in here. Oh, there's a lift. Is there a lift? There's a lift. We don't need that. Right. Packaging. Packaging. Mm. Is Packaging. it recyclable? Biodegradable air packaging. Well, maybe we should save the air just in case the atmosphere disappears when we have a nuclear war. Don't pull the box towards you. I want it's to my see box, it. not your box. It's a hat. No, it's not. It's a pot. It's a herb pot made of wool. So you the put twool, twool, woolly herb pot. The what? Twool, twool. What's that say? The twool woolly herb pot. And some paper. It's made of. It's made of. Well, it's made of wool or hessian, I suppose. And then there's a little. A little. A little thing. leather sheep's head. What's on, that for? I don't know. Maybe Not you could wear like it that. round your neck on a leather thong. Maybe you could. 
I think that's quite nice actually. That's a nice little gift. Lovely, very nice. <laughs> right, well we've got seeds, which seeds. I suppose is not seeds, surprising. Seeds, seeds of? So that is chives, parsley, marjoram and coriander So seeds. give those to me and then so I'll just nice. randomly distribute them round the house like the rest of the seeds. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a seed collecting video in the house tomorrow. Then, what's the that? Catalogue. No. Twen what is it? What? 20 to make George Good... Georgie Good... Godbold. Godbold Sugar, Sugar Christmas, Christmas decorations. decorations. So we won't make those. We'll just eat them. Is there sugar in there? No. Oh, there. It's just a instruction. Stencils, is it? Don't know what that is. What's this? You're getting that. That's the giveaway. Sweet feet. We never make those. Sweet feet gift set. Bathing, Bathing beauty. Beauties. Supernatural. Super. Are you going to actually read everything that comes care, out of this box? Pure and potent, functional and effective. Foot tablets. Foot salve. Foot tablets. That's what it says. Oh, they're fizzy. Oh, they're like fizzy. Oh, well, that's lovely. They're foot tablets. Nice tin. And here's another... A sack. Now, I think this is rather lovely. Well, show it the viewers. They in can't see it. With what we were saying in our video that we saw Vanessa yesterday. The, redu the plastic reduction shop in Cranley. This is a veg bag oh. that you can put your veg in and then weigh it. So that's reducing plastic. That's good. Ha has it got a weight on it? Does it well, say how much it weighs? It's weightless, aren't they? No, but that I think is most probably... Well, what's that there? Oh, I thought that was that's a number. That's a logo. Well, that's got weight to it. That wouldn't be I it. know it's got weight, but what Does I it say expect... On the instructions? Oh, I, whoops, ripped. What I expect is that on something like this, it does actually say the weight of the bag so that you can speak to a, an assistant to have the bag weight taken off the weight of, the, of your produce. But there's no weight on so this bag. So that's what the thing is for. Look, the woolly doodah. It's just a part of the logo, the branding. But it's the, I do like that. Oh, I see. I do like that. Oh, that's from that. Okay. And then we have... Look Whoa. at that, Richard. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you can keep all your seeds in that pool. <laughs> all of them. Uh, oh, that's fun. I can't fun. open it. Show the viewers. Oh, look at this. It's like a treasure chest full of plastic and then it's got a comp uh, it's got sliding it's compartment yeah all your seeds can go in that yeah. and then they won't be distributed randomly around the house in the plastic, sock drawer plastic. well so, i hope that can be recycled good if that so that's that lovely. is that's one that box. is a value of 75 pounds Really? Really? Well, that, how much must that cost? 15, maybe? 20? Is there a price on it? Can you not scan the barcode? No, I can't scan the barcode. So we've got, we've got the... Okay. The little bag. We've got the big woolly bag. They've just we've got seen all of it. Of seeds. We've got those cake things. No, I don't think no, it's worth £75. No. Pounds. That's, I that think would be that's, a rip-off at £75. Pounds. I think that's a decent price of 20 quid for, 20 for quid. all of that in the sale. I think that's a decent price, but I certainly wouldn't be paying £75 pounds for that box. Next, this one. Bigger box. That's huge. And quite heavy too. This is... Careful you um, don't damage This was £30. Pounds. And... It has a value supposedly of £150. Pounds. Oh, sorry. That's something that looks like a frisbee. What's that? It's a trug. Oh. Right. Perlite. Uh, 
cane toppers so that you can oh, do yeah. a, a wigwam. Yeah. 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 We'll use those. Oh. Kneeling pad. Well, well, we all need yeah. those. That's not bad. Definitely That's a nice that. one, actually. Pink. Pink, which means it's gay. Perlite. Do we use perlite? What yeah, is it made out of? Stop rustling everything. Perlite is a natural, um, natural stone. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's not a, a plastic stone. then. No, no, it's not plastic. No. no, it's a natural stone. So it's a natural Ten substance. Ten litres of perlite. Okay. Yeah. Next. Oh, what's that? Some plastic. Windowsill plastic propagator with some little uh, compost discs. discs in there. Is there any seeds in there? Contains 12 pellets. No, it's just the thing. So that's a little propagator. Well, you'd use that, wouldn't you? I'd use that. Yeah, we'd use that. Oh my. There's loads the of trug. things inside the trug. Trug. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, like that trug. Yeah. Well, we need one of those because the last one broke. Oh, it's full of stuff. This full is full of stuff. An a uh, cap for an outside tap to cap insulate an outside tap no, in the winter. Really, we don't. Maybe not. Twine. Twine in a tin. Twine in a tin. Oh. Yep. Use that. Wow. Oh, this is such a haul. I can't believe it. More cane toppers. Cane larger toppers. cane toppers. Yeah. Another. Pots. Just jiffy doo 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 pots wouldn't like that really because that's plastic and they're a bit small. Yeah, whatever. Leaf sacks. What do you think about leaf sacks? Do leaf sacks actually make leaf mould or are you better putting it into plastic? Interesting, don't know about them. More plastic. Used to collect leaves. Once filled, the leaf sack will be biodegrade, will biodegrade, turning into compost. Absolutely, but do is it better to make leaf mould in a plastic bag? Is that one sensible use of plastic? It doesn't say that. I know, I'm asking the question. More pots, plastic. Well, mm, plastic city. Uh, peat pellets, which are the little discs of wet. A hand it's like a razor. Dibber. Razor. Like a, like a big razor. Or snippet. What? Snippet. Oh, little snippets. snippets. Well, yeah, you use them. But they're plastic again. More plastic. 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 Yeah, but that actually would be quite good for us to use for it's our, hard. Um, our chicken manure pellets because we, we don't have anything. It's a hard moment. scoop as well, so it's a it's long It's going to last. Oh, Erica, Erica, you won't believe this. Knee pads. I was just saying to Erica on her video the other day. Yeah, she had some knee she pads. She had some knee pads and I thought, brilliant idea. We had some of those in the shed. Did you? Right. Yes. Well, I needed them more than you. What's that? What's that? That's garden tie. tie. Oh, that's for, for... Strong and stretchy. Yeah, so, so that's for, for doing it's, things. Oh, it's biodegradable cotton. It's called BioStretch. Oh. Controlled release fertiliser. Um, not sure if it's natural. It's most probably not. Uh -huh. It's NPK is 14, 14, 14, so very high. Oh, bulbs. Some bulbs that are starting to sprout. Starting to sprout. Well, that's what happens when you leave things in a box for over a week. Nice. The slug, the slug in. Beer traps. Yeah, beer traps. it's a sort of slug beer, trap. Beer traps. Beer traps. Well, why is it called the slug in? It's like a pub. Yeah, it's a pub for slugs. There we uh -huh. are. Quit me. Some gloves. Yeah. They'll fit Richard, they're quite large. I won't be using them. More controlled release fertilizer. Yeah. Not yeah. me. And, and a garden, garden apron. apron. You'll be using that, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Will I use that? I think you should because you always come back covered in absolute filth. <laughs> okay, so that was £150 from that box. For 30 quid, I think that was really good value. That was amazing. I mean, that was, that was really like good whole, value. This is like Christmas morning. <laughs> We don't do Christmas. Well, it's like it. Oh, right. Yeah, I think for 30 quid, that was really good value. Is that 150 quid in there? I well, don't, we wouldn't you know, buy those things, would we? Well, we'd buy some of them, but not a lot of them. We wouldn't buy the plastic pots. We wouldn't buy because half Because they're, they're too flimsy. We most probably wouldn't buy the bulbs. We wouldn't buy the apron. I mean, you, you, um, we would be buying the perlite, but we'd be getting that from Wilkinson because it's cheaper. But they're all usable there. things. They, they are, are usable. all usable things, but so not that necessarily is what great. we would buy. So final box. Final box. Final box. So after. I wonder what's going to be in it. After we had spent. Twenty pounds on that first box, thirty pounds on the we, second box. We didn't After spend it. I had spent the money that I had been given by an ex-client of twenty pounds on the first box and thirty pounds on the second box, that left twenty-five pounds free. And this is what I got. Putting it. You on mean the you know what? I know what this is. This isn't a mystery box. Not another wormery, I hope. I need to open it the other way. What is this? It's another bloody wormery. It's not a wormery. Well, what is it? It is, isn't it? They are two Bokashi what? compost bins. Bokashi? Bokashi compost what is bins. Bokashi? Bokashi. Bokashi compost bin uses bran yeah. to speed up the composting oh. of household food. So what, we have cooked food. No, all the, the peelings. peelings and things like that. Okay. You could put other things in it, but we're not. We okay. don't really have anything. So we have two of those. Oh, where are um, they going to go? They're going to go next to the wormery. And then the wormery and both of those, when I transform the side garden into my haven of privacy, will go pink. Will be moved. <laughs> so, what these do is they the speed up off. the composting. Yeah, it just goes up like that. And um, speed up composting, and then I think after about sort of a month, you then put it into your compost pile. So that's what we're going to. And doing. they are plastic. And they are plastic. But they're long plastic. use plastic. Again, long use plastic. But what if they split for any reason? What if they split, then, then they're. they're you have to put some tape up the side. Mm. But we haven't used these before. Okay. And these were £19.98 plus £4.95 delivery. So we're going to watch a few videos on this. You're if you do have any um, advice on how to use these, then let me know. Don't let Richard know. Let me know because he's not interested, I'm not interested at all. I'm not interested in doing any of those things no so there we are that is our I don't know why pounds gift. it's just like an extra thing to do do you know what I mean as if you don't have plenty of time to do things well I don't <laughs> there we are that's our 75 pounds yeah I think on the first the second box we got really good value for 30 quid on the first box, 20 quid, yeah, it's okay. I've most probably paid that anyway. Um, and these Bokashi bins, we'll see. So we're gonna be doing a number of ways of composting this year. We're gonna have the wormery. We're gonna be doing Bokashi composting. We're going to do our pallet bin composting. And we're also gonna be setting up the hot bin again. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And we're gonna be doing a video Where on that. Where? Your? 
We're going I, to be doing a video you, on that. You. We're you, going to be doing a video on that. Well, that's lovely. So now, Paul, you've got to put everything back into those boxes. Now I'll take them down Haven't to the allotment. You? Where are you going to put them? In the shed. In the shed? Mm -hmm. They'll go in the shed. Well, as long as they're not in my lounge. For when we come to sit down and watch television. It's always evening. your lounge. It is mine, it? because I'm the one that or decorates your, your it and cleans kitchen. it. Because or your dining room. I'm the one that decorates and tidies all of those rooms up. Or your house. Well, I'm the one that cleans the house. Therefore, it's my house. What about our If car? I'm cooking in the kitchen, it's my car? kitchen. If you're cooking in the kitchen, it's your kitchen. It's oh definitely my. your car. You're the one that uses <laughs> it and uses it like a, a van and fills it with rubbish. I did rescue a Christmas tree and I put it in the front seat. Covered the place with pine needles. <laughs> Covered the place with pine needles. <laughs> there aren't any now, though. I hoovered them up. Well, I saw a few. You missed a bit. When <laughs> did you see some? Yesterday. Did you take? Did you pick them up and throw no. them out the window? No. no. There we are. That's not my job. Can't be that bothered by it. No. Right, I'm going great. now. Well, Do you want to carry on? That's great. Thank you, Paul, for showing us these lovely things. Things. These lovely cluttering, hoarding things. I feel like a hoarder now. The place you, you can't are see. a hoarder. You can't you see them. Oh, he likes hoarder. to buy chests and wooden things and then puts things in them and then thinks they're hidden. Don't you? Yeah. No, that's not a hoarder. <laughs> that's being organised, Paul. It's not that's been called being organised. <laughs> it's not having things in boxes. It's hiding things away. That's a hoarder is. looks like this. Everything surrounding them, yeah, a bit like your desk. It. Oh, my desk needs tidying. Yeah. He looks like a hoarder. My he would be embarrassed tidying. if I turned my mobile phone onto his desk and shared it with you. Yeah, he would be terribly I'll do embarrassed. It tomorrow. But first of all, we're going to collect the seeds. I don't have any areas in the house like that. Mine are all organised and neat. I may have corners full of camera equipment, but and it is. It is untapped. What kind of tat, Paul? <laughs> Do you got things in things that you I never have use? Boxes with incense, with candles, with oils, all in boxes and drawers. Well, that's what it's there for. That's what. It's, would uh, you rather me emptied all the drawers and left them completely void of anything? <laughs> would you? <laughs> would you? Oh dear. No. Anyway. Right. Well, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and we're saying goodbye now and Paul can start tidying up. It's cardboard um, as well, of course. It's cardboard. Cardboard can go on to the, the beds, can't it? What, our bed upstairs? No. Oh. No. The Cold beds at the go down to the, the doodah, the plot place. Yeah. Place where you grow things and bring them back and cook them. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yes. Right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Au revoir. <laughs>